So I wanted to tell you a story which happened really, uh, I think it was yesterday or two days ago. So it began, I don't remember when, it might be crazy, but I opened, I was opening my email, and I saw something that I'd read to nearly all the subjects. Oh, yes. Things that are going to get fun, I'm going to stop with it, what it is I'm doing now, and, and look at it. Um, and I mean, like, I like to The thing that I start to, to see right there is like, oh, there's something about memory. That's what said something about Redis and memory. And uh, that doesn't sound too good because uh, I'm ready to see my memory, and there's a memory problem with Redis. And I'm going to learn about that, it means that this is going to be. This is going to be a very enjoyable moment that I'm going to spend. It's an important time with this. So, my first reaction was like, dude, where's my graph? I'm just get this. Like, what am I supposed to do with it? Because um, I really like graphs. I love graphs. Um, they let me do, they let me understand what's going on um, in a way that just the first message goes down. Um, doesn't the first thing I was interested in is kind of getting the usable memory close to zero and one, so it's not going back to the percent. Um, but can I graph that? Like, oh, that's the point. Because around that time, it's quite early in the morning, it's like this like, weird stuff. So there's not a lot of memory left. There's a moment at which things go kind of weird. Um, and I, I really don't like when things go weird because, um, because uh, I mean, it's interesting in a way, but it's not. So first, the next thing I worry about is like, well, what's the latency? You know, it's supposed to be like super fast, but this is what you need it for. It's, if you, the time is, is nicely lined up. Um, it's not too bad. It kind of gets out of whack, but it's really lagging. And then I look, I grab also the number of keys that are embedded, so what's in the content. It's like pretty stable. So you know, there's like these things that happen once in a while, but it doesn't look too bad. So yeah, the question is like, what's so, you know, next thing is like, what is the machine doing? And, oh, now I have something interesting because um, at that time when things go crazy or like weird, um, it's not really idle. It's kind of idle, you know, 8% and then you go. And I look at the load, which, you know, is not a terribly actionable measure, metric, if you will, but still kind of quick. And you care, yeah, at that time also, like, the machine starts to do something or more. So, the question is, is it CPU bound? Um, so, there's one way to look at it, well, this is what I have. So, kind of at the same time, I always shoot up um, to like 20%, up to 30%. So, all right, it looks like it's an IO problem, which for Redis, like, why is Redis worry about that? Um, is this supposed to be in there? Right. Um, so, I'm going to look at the puzzle at that point, and, and I'm Waiting for the slide. Oh, okay, all right. So <laughs> it's probably not sticky balance in like two videos and sources and stuff like that. Um, but and I, I get the service time for the device, you know, maybe the device that I have. And uh, what I see is like, yeah, you know, like 40 minutes I can start to write, maybe what's going on, maybe in the life start for that. So the next thing I think I wonder is that like, well, maybe we're writing the device. And, and why that yes, what, what we can see is that it's not really that the device is bad, is that at that moment, when things go crazy in memory, we start to do something. So then I go, so we start to write to it. Then I kind of remember, yeah, let me check the logs just to make sure. What I find out is uh, we had this a bunch of these messages to support that I want to allocate memory. And this is used actually to save the um, content for things. So when I put everything together, this, this is really, yeah, I can kind of walk you through every single graph one by one. But it, it was much uh, much easier to have in there. So, conclusion, uh, if you have graphs, you can do a lot of iteration, you can be happy, you can solve the problems, you can go back to sleep really quickly. If you don't have graphs, you can do a new correlation. Now, I think the last 15 seconds is going to be how fast I, I'm at graphing stuff. It's pretty insane. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Boom. Boom. Done.